Hello everyone, uh, Data Pioneer here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel and we're continuing with our Crusader File Manager for KDE Plasma. Welcome to part five, thank you for joining me. And uh, hopefully today's video will be helpful to you and let me know at the end. All right, so in part five, we are going to look at uh, two, possibly three more reasons why you should be using the Crusader File Manager. Uh, if this video begins to get too lengthy, well, uh, I'll chop off reason number six, and I'll do that in a subsequent video. But let's get started with it, um, and we'll do that right after this. Okay, the three reasons that we're going to cover in part five is uh, starting with reason number four is that Crusader File Manager uh, gives you fast and effective keyboard only navigation. And we'll look at why that is true. Reason number five is that Crusader gives you flexible display of command results. And finally, reason number six is it has an integrated command prompt window. So first, let's look at reason number four, uh, which is the fast and effective keyboard-only navigation. All right, I'm in my uh, Crusader file manager in um, Baron OS, and uh, let's look at that, reason number four. Um, what uh, Crusader allows you to do here is um, you can use um, Control-Z. So if I hit Control-Key, hold that down, hit the Z key, it pulls up something called popular URLs. And what Crusader does is it, let me just expand this a little bit. What Crusader does is it uh, utilizes uh, uniform resource locators for, not for web addresses rather, but for um, file locations, okay, on the system. And so here you've got home data pioneer music, uh, home data pioneer temporary, etc., etc. All right. And so you can, you can, if you want, come down and down arrow, select music and hit enter, and it will take you immediately to the music directory here. Okay, so control Z does that. So if you hold the control key down and Z, it brings up uh, that. This is the fast part of, and the flexible part too, uh, of um, being able to zip right to a navigation area using keyboard, down arrow, pictures, hit enter key, takes you right to the pictures directory. Uh, if you do control Z, it brings you back out to this uh, popular URLs directory here uh, so that you can select those. All right, I'm going to close that. And uh, one of the other things you can do though is there's another directory other than your home directory that you go to quite, quite often. Let's say that you go uh, up arrow. Let's say that it, for me, it's the documents directory, okay? I don't have anything in it, but let's just assume for a moment that this is the directory that I go to quite a bit. When I'm in that directory, what I can do is I can hold the shift key and the control key down at the same time and then hit the J key on the keyboard. And that's going to give it the alt home uh, location uh, mapping rather for that shortcut. So control shift J will map to now the documents directory all right so let's go up and let's say i'm we'll click let's say i'm in another directory temporary uh, in the file system could be anywhere could be out on the file system itself and i want to get directly back to my documents directory but i don't want to go uh, do a control z and, and do that url mapping what i can do now since i have mapped it with control shift j now i can do just simply control j and that takes me right directly to the documents directory. All right, Control J. So Control Shift K. I mean Control Shift J rather to set it, and then Control J to go to it. So let's go back to another directory. Let's say I'm in the templates directory. I want to go back to my most often used directory, which is documents. I hold the Control key down with the left hand, hit J with the right, and there I am. Control J. And so this is the fast and flexible use in Crusader 
uh, for navigating command uh, with command prompt or command uh, keyboard commands rather only uh, in Crusader. And I don't know of any other file manager, you know, Nemo, Dolphin, any of those that let you do this. This is a great thing. Uh, this is something I'll be using quite a bit and something you can use as well. All right, moving on to reason number five. Reason number five is flexible display of command results. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's look at command results here in uh, Crusader File Manager. Um, what we can do is we can, um, let me go up to home directory here and we, uh, resort it. All right, what we can do is uh, we can look at the settings menu item and we can come down and we can do configure shortcuts and the window opens up, uh, man window for configuring the shortcuts. And you can see under the shortcuts heading here, we have many shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts that are available to us. Uh, for instance, adding a bookmark is control D, backing up the directories, meta F5, uh, compare folders is Alt Shift C, uh, you know, and the list goes on and on and on. History is Control H, uh, Alt Right is Forward, Crusader Handbook is F1, etc. Um, and so we can use this window here in order to um, set up, modify, if you will, change uh, this particular uh, shortcut. Like, for instance, if I wanted to do Write History, I wanted to change that. I could, uh, the default is control alt right, but I could come down here and put in something else, type it in, like hold the control key down uh, and hit like control one and then save it. And then that would save it and change that from the default, which is control right to control one. Okay, I don't want to do that though. All right, let's cancel that. The other thing we can do is come up to user actions and we can select that and come down to user interface. And let's say, let's take a look at control one, which is the sort by name. And when I did that, you notice that changed the direction of the sort, all right? And if I simply left click on the mouse to the name field, it reorients uh, the sort in ascending order uh, from smallest, you know, lowest in the alphabetical list to the uh, highest. Uh, etc. using folders first and then files afterwards. So it's an ascending alphabetical order. Uh, but we can use control one as well. So if I do control and one on the keyboard, hold the control key down and one, that changes that sort. And so that's uh, one way of doing it. Do a control one again and that changes it back. And so this is the capability you have within Crusader to get command results rapidly uh, utilizing either user actions or the settings here and doing the configure shortcuts uh, in Crusader to bring up this window so that the command results that you get for the shortcut keys can be modified. All right, let's look at the final reason uh, in this particular video. Reason number six for using the Crusader file manager and that's the using of the integrated command prompt window. So let's take a look at that. Okay, I'm in the Crusader file manager once again, and we're going to look at that last reason for using Crusader in this particular video, which is um, the uh, integrated command prompt window. And so how do we get the integrated command prompt window and what does that do for us? All right, so what you can do is go up to settings and come down to show command line and check that. And what that does is it opens up a command window here, one line command prompt window. Right now I'm on um, the home data pioneer home directory. And if I want to put in a command uh, and have it pop up, what, what I want to do first before I do that, is I want to come over here to the terminal and I want to select that. And by default, it, it is normally set to start and forget, uh, but I want to change that away from start and forget. And I want to change that to start in a new terminal. All right. And so when I issue a command in the command prompt here, it's going to open up the terminal and show me the results. And so let's take a look at that. So if I do an LS for list, now notice when I type, start typing, it auto locates other commands that I can use in the system, which is really nice. Uh, you know, for instance, uh, one that I might use 
LSI PC or LS PCI for looking at my hardware. But for right now, I just want to do LS. Uh, but I want to do a TAC LH for listing long human readable. And when I hit the enter key on the keyboard, it's going to open up the terminal, which is what I told it to do on the right hand side. And it's going to do the listing in long format human readable of my home directory. All right. So that's uh, one thing you can do with it. Go back. Um, still at the home directory. Let's say I wanted to do a DF H, okay, for uh, looking at the file system, human readable, hit enter key on the keyboard, and that brings up a listing of the file system itself um, and shows me that, you know, for instance, I'm using 61% of my dev SDA1, which is the hard drive, uh, and shows me the rest of that structure for my file system in Linux, all right, for Parent OS. All right, and so let me get back into the terminal. I just popped out of the terminal here. Oh, can't get out of it there. Let me go back into it. I have to close it, I guess. Okay, I'll get back into it. And uh, I may have to reset that. No, here I'm back. I'm back now. All right, and so let's look at one final command. And the one final command that I wanted to look at was free command. So if I hit the enter key, it shows me the uh, amount of free memory that I have. And if I look under the memory section here, I'm using right now um, oh, about 100 uh, megabytes. Oh, no, what? One gig, about run one gig of eight gigs available. So I'm uh, one gig of eight gigs when I've got uh, buffered and shared and, and available here, uh, showing me that as well. So, so that is uh, use of the uh, command prompt integrated into the. Uh, Crusader File Manager, again, I don't know of any other file manager that you uh, have available to you. Uh, Dolphin, uh, Nemo, uh, PCMan FM, any of those that will let you do this. Uh, and that is Settings and Show Command Line. So I'm going to uncheck it and get out of that. And so that's reason number six for using the uh, Crusader File Manager.